So we've gone over two different ways of how to capture your PC VR games when playing on your Oculus Quest 2. But now we got to figure out how to stream and capture gameplay if you decide to you want to record and edit your Oculus Quest 2 gameplay that is from games that are on your Oculus. Now, this is a little bit different than the other methods and it's not going to be as high quality as the other methods, but there are three different solutions that you can use. We're going to go over those today. Hey, what's up everybody? Dimitri of the Cadet Gaming Channel, and today we're going to go over how to capture and possibly stream your Quest 2 native Oculus games that are played on the headset. So ones that are not played through um, the Air Link or using virtual desktop on your PC. These are not PC v games, these are the Oculus Quest 2 games. As I mentioned, there are three different methods we're going to go over. Um, two of them do cost money one of them much less than the other and then the other one is free but it does have some limitations so we'll go over all of those uh, as we go if you find anything in this video helpful i'd really appreciate it if you like this video and uh let's just hop right into it so as you may know your oculus quest 2 can cast what you're viewing to a bunch of different devices um, you may have used it on your tv to show other people in the room what you're seeing but the first method that we're going to go through is the free method and it is using the oculus cast um, website to cast your oculus to the website and then you can full screen that and capture it so what you want to do is go to oculus.com cast and you're going to see the very quick uh, settings here that'll tell you how to cast to this browser so once you get that going you can now see your oculus whatever it sees you can see that on the browser. Now the only issue and the biggest drawback of this is that it's only going to be a single eye view. So the display ratio isn't great, it's tall, and when you full screen it you're going to have to cut off either the top and bottoms of the image to get a 16 by 9 image, or you're going to have to have these black bars on your screen. Now we'll go over really quickly a way to utilize that extra space but this is something that is a drawback of this method but it is free it's very easy to do and um, the quality is not half bad now to set this up in obs you're just going to right click add you're going to go and do a window and we'll call this oculus and there we go we're able to grab our oculus so we're going to make this fit the screen here so you can either cut off the tops and bottoms of this image by basically just stretching it out and fitting it to your screen however you want, but you are gonna lose visual fidelity with that and it may cut off things that you do want to see uh, in your headset and show to your recording or your viewers on your stream. So your other option is to actually use the empty space to put your camera if you're recording yourself uh, playing while you're playing. So you would move this over and put it over to the side and you could use this empty space for your camera. And if you're streaming, you could use it for your chat or you can put your camera as a full image here. Um, it'll be very tall. So that's basically what you want. You want your whole body to be in the um, video capture anyways. So this is a great use for this extra space. One of the biggest downsides with capturing the Oculus software is that unless you use some kind of wireless microphone you're gonna have to try to speak into your microphone on your desk it makes it very difficult or you're gonna have to run cables from your computer onto like a headset or something so keep that in mind when you're when you're setting this up but this is the best way for free to set up the oculus the next solution is one that i don't particularly recommend unless you already have the components for it and it is basically using a capture card and using a Chromecast and plugging the Chromecast into your capture device and then casting from your headset to that Chromecast. And then it can be captured via the capture card and you can basically use it as if you're capturing a console or something. Now, if you don't have a capture card and you don't have a Chromecast, this is a very expensive solution. 
and there are much more affordable solutions. And even if you do have these parts, I feel like this next solution, the third one, is much more convenient, a lot easier to set up, and you do get a little bit more flexibility out of it. So the third solution is using a piece of software called Air Receiver. You can also use Air Server. Um, they're both relatively inexpensive. When I bought Air Receiver, I got it on sale on the Microsoft Store. And this allows you to cast anything to your PC as if it was a cast device. It's really awesome. I use it for the Oculus. I use it actually for my phone as well. Um, I use it for a few things. It is great. Uh, it's very inexpensive and it's a lot more convenient than having to set up a Chromecast and a capture card. Once you launch the software, you'll be set at a screen like this. Once you scroll through your available casting devices, you'll see the name of your computer. Go ahead and connect to that. And then you'll get this, which is a full screen casting. So this looks a lot better in my opinion than the Oculus website because it's both eyes. You can full screen it and then you can capture this in OBS and completely capture your software. It'll move when you move. The latency is very low. It's really good. And this is my preferred method. So adding this in, in OBS is a little bit different. You're going to capture it as a game instead of a window. So you're going to go to add game capture. We'll call this Oculus. You're going to go to select specific window and air receiver. Now you'll see we have our game. You can move it around. You got everything going. We will make this fit. Transform fit to screen. And there you have it. You can add anything else you want to in your scene and you have a great view of your Oculus and you can play your Oculus exclusive games, which is the only reason that I typically do it this way. Everything else I play in PC VR. Now, as I mentioned, streaming and recording um, the Oculus uh, exclusive games from the headset does have its drawbacks, specifically with the microphone. You're gonna have to make sure that you have either a wireless mic or a wired mic um, to wherever you're walking around, usually on a headset of some kind, um, because if not, you're gonna have to make sure that you're facing your desk microphone as often as possible, or else people aren't gonna be able to hear you properly. So that's one of the biggest drawbacks, and it's why I typically will play PC VR games, and I'll only use this method when um, playing Oculus exclusives. A wireless headset would be a great problem solving for this, um, but you're gonna have the problem of not having the audio, so you're gonna have to use earbuds from the Oculus underneath the wireless headphones um, so that you can hear the game and then the headphones on top would be able to hear your streaming computer. The solution is great if your computer cannot handle VR games, the Oculus, it's one of the best features about it is that it can play games entirely on its own and this is really great for it and there are a lot of really great oculus exclusive games that you may want to play so this is the solution for you if you want to do that and that's it it's relatively easy you have three different solutions my favorite being using something like air receiver and streaming it to that it runs the best it looks the best in my opinion and i've had a really great time using it this way if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it. If you liked and subscribed, it really helps me out. Uh, we just recently hit a thousand subscribers, so thank you to everybody who interacts with my videos. I very much appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you want to have more of a back and forth, you're more than welcome to join the Discord. I will leave a link in the video description. Uh, lots of people in there talk about lots of things. You don't only have to post your questions in there. Uh, we're going to try to organize some more game nights, so feel free to join the Discord. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. If you want to ask any questions, you're more than welcome to ask them there. And I do play a variety of games, so come check me out. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday.